Not a lot of loot, but will do. Okay, let's continue to explore around here. Howdy, strangers. Name Six Fingered Larry. Hunter. Though, it seems you find me plumb out of wares. Him? <laughs> you don't want him. Barrett's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull the other week. If you insist, though, you'll have to talk to Polly yourself, because I got no say in what he's going to do. We want to buy Polly. Who knows? I've only got five fingers on each hand. Same as anyone else. Maybe it's got something to do with the fact I'm good with my hands. <laughs> I'm not the sword who'd kiss and tell, though. Only that they make more money than I do. Bastards. But to answer your question, nah, I'm an honest businessman. I don't waste my time with criminals. Why don't you try the Mannerite? Yeah, the, the one with the suit. He knows all about the local lowlife. Okay. Haven't I talked to him already? I'm no local, but ask me anything you want. I'll see if I can be useful. The bazaar? It used to be something else. Now, it's just old and fat, wheezing through its last days. Easy pickings. That'd be Flab the Inhaler. He leads what's left of the monster army after the Patriarch gutted their ranks. As far as dictators go, he's actually not half bad. Me? Nah, I don't got the bona fides. What's on your mind? All right, it's your funeral. Hey, Polly, you hear that, old buddy? These fine folks would like to adopt you. How's that sound? My buddy, my pal, come closer. I'll show you how it sounds to me. Oh, shit. Damn it. That's how it fucking sounds to me, Larry. What? Sounds like some fucking bullshit. Wasting your time with this asshole. Talk to Polly. Talk to Polly. Only want that cracker? you to gag on weak old shit leaking what? from a dead guy's ass. What? Piss off, Shitsmere. Piss off. <whistles> Listen, shit for braves. <whistles> Someone has to stick around to make Larry's life miserable. <whistles> That's my job. I love that job. What is wrong with Larry? this bird? Thank you. <whistles> what? <laughs> Attack? Shit, you're right, you circus reject. I mean, you look like someone grafted a squid to a police vulva. But when you're right, you are right. Hey, Larry, I'm leaving. All right, he's yours if you pay the price. Well, this sounds about fair, don't you think? $200? What are you asking out of me? I I can't do that. Wise choice, shitheads. <laughs> How aren't your balls hanging around someone's neck <laughs> like a pearl necklace? Go fuck. <laughs> Told you. 
Damn, Polly. Trying to get into the bazaar to sell my dyes. Same as you, I imagine. The getting into the bazaar part, not the dyes. Unless you do dyes, which is totally cool by me if you do. Hi. Yeah, hi. I'm trying to become a licensed merchant in the bazaar. The monster army says I gotta make a dye the exact color of blood, which is hard. Because everyone's got an opinion, but no one can agree on the hue. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about dyes, huh? It'd be just peaches if you could help. I could even pay you, a little at least. My dye table is right over there. Decoration, I suppose? Or, uh, I don't know, really. I didn't think to ask, to be honest. Them? They're hoping someone would sell them an entrance pass or help them get inside. The bazaar's got this code, you see? Unless you're a big shot Flab can't do without, you're not allowed to come in. Anyhow... Um, Flab's, uh, the leader of the bazaar. He's a big guy, which is why everyone calls him Flab, you know? It's kinda mean, but Flab doesn't seem to mind, so whatever. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So long. Uh, chemicals. Let's see. <laughs> Mix chemicals at random. I need weird science six. I mean, sure, I could try to do it randomly, but. This is our first visit to the bazaar. We've been saving all year. Ah, ha! I see you have come from afar. Well, your travels are amply rewarded, for you have reached the one and only the seer of fortunes and teller of truth. And uh, no. I killed one of you down there in the warrens. Sorry, pal. Yes, I know, I know. Your ears can scarce believe what you're seeing. Ah, but it is indeed I, ready to tell your fortune. Wisely chosen. Those who do not prepare for the future are clowns. To begin, you must think of your favorite color. Concentrate solely on the color. Let the color completely fill your mind. Estás ready? Okay. I see an ocean of waves. Your color is blue! It isn't. Apologies! <laughs> I was impatient. Uh, now I see you're riding the waves toward the warmth of a red sun. It must be so. Red is the color you are thinking. Yeah, red was actually it. Of course, of course. The Great Gurn is never wrong. Ah. An image of your future is forming. Hmm. Now tell me, what is it that brought you to Colorado? Ah, the most noble of sentiments. The image begins to grow clearer. Now I must know, for what purpose have you come to the bazaar? Yes, yes, fascinating. It's all coming together now. 
Listen carefully, for the fortune I tell you may very well save your lives and the lives of many. Okay, I'm listening. Your noble intent will drive you into great danger, but also great opportunity. Ride the three-headed goat. Your problem just became your stepping stone. Seize the moment. Ah, yes. A vision becomes clearer now. I see you surrounded by friends, but not all are true friends. Friends to be trusted. Now I see you gaze upon a woman in red. She turns to you. And red begins spreading in all directions. That is where my vision ends. <laughs> that is uh, all I can see. Your path is hard, mamans. The fates have spoken to me. I must give you this key. May it be of no use. May it be of no use, okay. Uh... Lab is a cabron who wouldn't recognize talent if it bit him in the belly. He claims the monster army already has some kind of mechanical fortune teller. But how could a machine possibly match my intuition? My gift? My panache? Flab is the leader of the monster army and has been for many decades growing fat and slothful all the while <laughs> okay goodbye clad in red felicitations it is simple to get inside you need an entrance pass you can purchase one at the door or find an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you any bazaar merchant of course, they are usually found inside the bazaar, not out here. In the encampment behind me, you could find some hopefuls looking to get in. Perhaps if you can aid them, they can aid you. Would that I could, but we are limited in how often we can vouch for outsiders. In theory, yes. But those of us who have a past tend to safeguard it with our lives. So it is highly unlikely you would get to use another person's pass. Is it? I have heard of people giving their entrance passes to family members. Perhaps you have a rich uncle. Occasionally people disappear in the nearby ruins, and strangers acquire their pass. I'm sure I don't need to say this behavior is most untrustworthy and impolite. I can only hope I will have the answers you seek. Outside the bazaar? No. They find the comfort and warmth of the interior more welcoming between trips. I'd try the fountain bar inside. I think Mr. Jones might be around. Truly. Wonders never cease. I'm no local, so I don't know much about these crazy clowns. Perhaps they're a known pest? I'd recommend speaking to our dear leader, Jacob Martin, once you get inside. Ah, I thank you. It is a pleasure to meet people of taste, a true rarity in these uncivilized lands. I endeavor to provide the teachings of Mr. Manners to those inside the bazaar. Alas, they seem to prefer that I spread the good word out here instead. A folly, I think. But who am I to question our gracious hosts? Hmm. Did we? Uh, let's try this. Ha, such a polite sentiment. Thankfully, Mr. Manners teaches us to always have a spare suit. I could not leave a fellow civilized soul in dire need. Here. Take my spare. I shall fashion myself another. You do seem like people of refined taste, without a doubt. But a man of class does not abandon his employer at an inopportune moment. I don't wish to speak out of turn, 
But this is a dangerous time for the bazaar. Friends, go inside. Speak to Mr. Jacob Martin, or as others call him, Flab. When the bazaar is safe again, my conscience will be clear, and I will be most pleased to join you. Okay. Have an exquisite day. Let's get to the entrance then. We haven't even been up here. Welcome to the bazaar, little lambs. Behave yourselves. There's a container over here. I bring a rabbit the lamb <laughs> the lamb speak you know what you asked me a straight question let's forget about the lamb nonsense okay but I still have a rabbit the bazaar lies beneath your feet covered by decades of snow the only way in is through the gate beneath this RV the only people who can open this gate we, the monster army. If you want to get in here, you need to do one of two things. Buy an entrance pass, or get an established bizarre merchant to vouch for you. Sometimes we let Colorado's most famous in, but it's been years since such an exception was made. Huh, that's nice. Doesn't mean shit to me. But I'm happy for you. Okay. Holy crap, for real? That's some fucked up shit. But don't worry. The monster army can keep you safe. All you need is an entrance pass. I like hear all of them. You do? I should probably ask how you got that. But honestly, I don't really care. They don't pay me enough. I tell you, if you got a pass, that's good enough for me. Right. If you come, behave yourself, my little lambs. Well, that was easy. Where did we get that pass? From that last fight? I can't remember. going on are, are we under attack uh, no no i'm sure we're not under attack fuck i swear i only opened the warren's gate for one second and that fucking pig bolted by me uh, 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 don't worry folks uh, the bazaar is secure uh, move along everyone ah new visitors don't fret 
come and hear about the marvels of the bazaar. Well, okay, what do you want? Fresh lambs, esteemed guests. The door guard informed me you were coming. You are most welcome to all the delicacies and pleasures the bazaar has on offer, provided you have the coin. Ah, I hope you're not shaken by this disturbance. It is a minor matter, I assure you. Your shopping experience should be nothing short of completely safe. Please, please, lower your voice. I don't know, okay? Someone's been strapping explosives to real pigs. Real pigs, made up with real lipstick, real eyeshadow. I guess it's some asshole's idea of a prank. You'll find stairs to the upper level in the back. They will take you to our esteemed leader, Flab. Talk to him if you want to know more. Really? Dressed as clowns, you say? That sounds like Los Payasos, but there's no way those crazy fucks are out here. Ah, uh, I suggest you talk to Flab about this. You can find him in the back, up the stairs. Well, okay, yeah, sure. Ah, yes. Paradolia Jones would be the man you're looking for. He'll be hanging out at the Fountain Bar, right there. Hey, good. Finally. We have all kinds. All kinds indeed. Pichatelli sells weapons to any weary pilgrim. Gwyn Talbot is your woman if you need protective gear. Dr. Coldcuts can sell you medical supplies or see to your health needs. That's good. In the central area, you'll find the Fountain Bar. A good place to kick back with a drink and some of Masato's delicious port. Depends on your definition of fun. I'd recommend talking to Eidolon. She and her pals really know how to party. <laughs> but if you're a more cerebral type, check out Querex's museum in the back. The bazaar's a bazaar unlike any other, piglets. You want it? We have it. No meat is too exotic. No luxury is too fantastic. If you can afford them, they're yours. Uh, showers? Yes. Actually, no, sorry. They were buried in a recent snow tunnel collapse in the Warrens. So bad. Oh, uh, uh, we're all full up. <laughs> but, um... Uh, Sorry, our projector broke years ago. You have anything? <laughs> uh, perhaps in our older days, that chapter of the Monster Army book is closed. Uh, sorry. <sighs> I, I mean, happy. Enjoy your visit. Guns sanctified with blood? Blood sanctified by guns. Yes. Hmm. Heartbeats that I don't recognize. Come closer, strangers. The sanctified Piscatelli crafts weapons of all sorts for those in need. And she can read that you are very much in need. Have you ever loved something so deeply that it gouges loose all the fears you might have possessed? If so, you would know what these scars are. Benediction. Sanctification. Certainly. Okay, let's see. Bolts. Hmm. The shotgun. Mother's kit. Oh, that's not too bad. You know, that's not bad at all. Honestly. 
Oh, I think I have that. First, sell junk. I'll take that. A tactical nuke. Isn't that a bit overkill? Did you have anything interesting? Auto revolver? That has quite a punch. Now, now that one, look at that. It is expensive, I gotta say. But damn. I think I want the, that one. Red Dragon. And this one. And we should sell a lot of stuff. It's only a little bit better, but it has, it has more ammo. I guess this is a little bit better. No, I can't. I can't have that. Oh wait, I should be able to... Needs one more level up. I'm going for it. Okay, let's see. Pretty good chance. Take that. Magazine size, take that. Damage. You just need an underbarrel. barrel. 